Well, all right, let's talk about Brock Purdy and the 49ers, who had a very up and down game. At times it was looking awesome for them. At other times, not so much. Uh, definitely, you know, it was an amazing game. It was an amazing game. Uh, two teams played, and for it to be an amazing game, both have to show up and play great. But there also were some mistakes toward the end uh, and some great plays at the end. Like, even, like some of those plays in overtime that Purdy was making was incredible. So, yeah, one of the all-time Super Bowls, although unfortunately for the 49ers, on the losing end of it. Let's talk about everything that happened in this one. Let's start off with this play, because, you know, uh, I want to start off with their sort of slow start, I would say, in this one. Listen, in the first half, they had, you know, 10 points on five drives, not counting a kneel down. That's two points per drive. That's solid. But, you know, the first two drives were kind of the, the rough ones, and really, I mean, only three points on their first four drives. But it was largely due to stuff like this, making mistakes. So this is a, a zone coverage play that the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be in. It's a cover two zone. So that's the concept, and it's going to work. Watch as the 49ers you see on this play. They actually have a couple of, you know, uh, they have a concept designed to beat this coverage. It's just not working. Kansas City is doing a good job at getting over there. Uh, it looks a little bit like maybe Brandon Ayuk towards the top of the screen is open, but he's not. Uh, just off screen, there's a Chiefs player who can run in and make a play. So, you know, doesn't matter what Purdy's looking at right here. It's not open, and he has to try and figure something out at this point. You're going to see him. He does scramble outside, but there's a penalty. Trent Williams uh, gets a holding uh, penalty. And to be honest, I mean, it's one of those things where it's hard, right? Your quarterback runs outside the pocket. You're not exactly sure where they are. You have your back turned to them. Next thing you know, uh, you know, they're past you, but you're holding and you get a penalty. And it is a good defensive play to draw the penalty. That has to be mentioned. But still a mistake here for San Francisco. Uh, but, you know, again, also we're mentioning watch Brock Purdy. One thing I want to say before I show the play is just look at his footwork and look at how he's getting his feet planted. That's such an important aspect, I feel like, in football is everyone goes crazy with Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes and all these guys who, you know, have these sidearm throws and off balance, you know, not getting their feet planted. Well, if you have time to get your feet planted, get your feet planted. That's what Purdy does. Purdy makes this off-platform throw, which he is really good at. Kittle makes the grab, and they did get the first down, which, again, got called back due to the penalty. So that's kind of a good microcosm of the first, uh, you know, several drives for the 49ers of, like, they were moving the ball, they were making plays, but ultimately their mistakes were, you know, costing them points. But I did think Purdy made some good plays, such as this one, third down and nine situation. And honestly, it was sometimes some not... Uh, superstar wide receivers who are making the plays because we all talk about oh so so much great players even their depth players are like Christian McCaffrey he's like their fourth passing option you know uh, George Kittle he's their third passing option on a lot of plays well sometimes it was uh, like this one Chris Conley who is, isn't even someone we talked about as like a depth player he wasn't really he wasn't even getting that attention heading into this game but the Chiefs, who mix it up, they were doing a lot of different coverages, as expected. Playing man here, Chris Conley's route is a good route against this coverage, but again, it's Chris Conley. It's not Debo Samuel. It's not Brandon Ayuk. Well, Purdy takes the snap. He doesn't discriminate. He's looking for whoever's going to be open, and whoever is going to be open ends up being Chris Conley on this play. This is Jalen Watson, a uh, corner who has had a good year for them. Uh, usually wins his matchups. Not a matchup you want to lose here, though. It certainly isn't. You see, Purdy puts that one right on the money, and they're able to pick up a first down. And again, that did lead to a field goal drive. So that's a good play. And in fact, they had another good play shortly after this one. So right here, what's going to happen is, so on this one, it's going to be a zone coverage play. And it's, again, not your superstar receiver. This is Ray Ray McLeod running a route over the middle on this one. But again, for the Shanahan scheme, this is the Shanahan scheme play, right? These over-the-middle routes, the Chiefs are in a zone blitz, so those over-the-middle uh, windows could be even bigger, and, you know, uh, Shanahan's already so good at figuring out exactly where those gaps are going to be and, you know, designing the play accordingly and watch as when Purdy takes the snap. And again, Purdy's still good at timing this stuff where you see when he gets rid of the football, it's about as big, big of a gap as you're going to get right here. So good stuff from Purdy, good stuff from Shanahan, and good stuff by McLeod too. I don't want to take credit away from him. He's still the guy out there running the route, uh, doing a good job of running the route, makes the catch. About to get clobbered too, so this doesn't look ideal for uh, Ray McLeod. However, you see him hang on to the football. What's the old expression? Uh, they're going to hit you anyways. Might as well catch the football. That's what he did, and they're able to pick up a, a big chunk play that led to a field goal drive. Didn't get a touchdown, but still were able to continue to move the football. 
And then, of course, we got to talk about this one, the trick play, which I made a whole video uh, dedicated to this trick play, but I'll talk about it here as well, of course, because it's, you know, important to talk about. It has nothing to do with Purdy, but it has to do with the 49ers offense. Uh, you know, their touchdown in the first half, where the way this is designed to work is it's going to be a backwards pass to Jawan Jennings. That's the first part. And the goal is to try and get Kansas City players to move towards that direction because he's the guy with the football and you don't know if it's a backward pass or not. So you kind of want to, you know, cover the guy who is a wide receiver and has the football. So you want those guys to move in. Those are the three players that you're hoping, really in particular, and those are the guys who are going to go towards Jennings. Then you have your receiver who's lined up towards the top of the screen, run a route to just try and get out of the area, right? Just go away, basically. It's a go away route uh, to, to try and get the, you know, the defender who's covering him to also get out of the area. Then really, Nick Bolton's the only guy who is left in position to you know, potentially be able to make this play. Watch as one this play begins. You see uh, Purdy's going to throw this one well uh, behind, and actually it's almost a bit of a tell how far behind that was because you know obviously that's not going to be a screen pass, but you're kind of in a weird spot if you're a defender where you kind of just have to go there anyway and try and you know disrupt the play. You're you're not going to do anything at that point, so just you know try to hit Jennings. And this is a hard play for Jennings. It really is. Like you're about to get crushed right here. So you know the commentator is kind of. Commentators were kind of saying, ah, it took him a while to get the ball there. Well, yeah, because he's not a quarterback by position, and now he's going to, you know, have to try and make a difficult play. Played quarterback in high school, but still. You see Jennings is able to get the ball down to McCaffrey, and right here, I mean, you see just, uh, there's no one even really in the area to make this play. Watch as you see McCaffrey step up. He's well blocked enough. He is able to get into the end zone for a touchdown. Great stuff by him. Great stuff by, you know, Kyle Shanahan to scheme this up. Juwan Jennings, everyone involved. Really good stuff here. They didn't, you know, they got cold for a bit. No denying it. Something like this. It's a George Kittle a deep shot on this play. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and, you know, again, Kittle was not doing a lot uh, for a large part of this game. He had a key fourth down, which we'll get to, but, you know, right here, watch what happens. First, watch how when Purdy takes a snap. Watch Purdy. Watch how he throws it. Kind of throws it off his back foot. It's like throwing it falling away a little bit. I, didn't, I don't know if he had to throw it that way, but either way, it doesn't matter because you look at Kittle, he just, he's not open. And like this was an issue was the Chiefs were just covering so well. As you see this throw, you know, again, it still felt like there was maybe a chance. Just kind of a weird play there by the uh, by the Chiefs, or excuse me, weird play there by Kittle and by Brock Purdy on that one, not able to get it done. But then we have to go here. So just after the go-ahead touchdown, that kind of crazy momentum swing with the uh, punt and everything, this was an insane sequence of events. So I'm going to show a few plays, all that happened pretty, uh, you know, in a row. So first this one, you see Purdy's going to run a play action. They get a receiver wide open, but with pressure, the throw is a bit too far, not able to get the uh, touchdown. So, okay, that's one that you see that and you're like, oh, that's probably, probably going to be key, right? Well, then let's go over here. So it's a third down and two. Hey, set up a third down and two. All right, let's run the ball with McCaffrey. You know, we have a good, uh, you know, this is a good matchup for us. Except it isn't. You see that this is not going to work out. Uh, McCaffrey stopped short, fourth and three. And Kyle Shanahan says, let's go for it. Gutsy call. Listen, everyone, it's the Dan Campbell thing, right? It's almost a, it's a very similar situation to what Dan Campbell did. More time left, about five more minutes than when Dan Campbell did this. But still, uh, it's something that, you know, you know, if this didn't work, everyone would be criticizing him. But he wants to take the lead and not just tie the game here. And they're going to look towards Kittle in a one-on-one -on -one spot. They need him to come through here. As you see, Purdy takes the snap. He, you know, looks towards Kittle. But what's interesting is Kittle isn't past the first down marker, which has got to be a little scary at this point if you're the 49ers. But it's what you got to do. As you see, Purdy makes this throw, and Kittle's able to turn the corner, gets the first down barely. Jim Nance said he didn't think it was a first down. Not sure uh, what Jim Nance was seeing there. It was a first down. Uh, and he, he On the replay, he corrected himself, but still, a weird uh, thing there. But, I mean, that's a huge play. And then, so, okay, uh, new set of downs. You're still not in the end zone, though. But that would bring us to Jawan Jennings, because of course it's Jawan Jennings. I mean, the amount of plays this guy makes, it's insane uh, for the little amount of targets he gets. It feels like every target he gets is like a huge play in a game. Watch as when it's, uh, you know, when the play begins, you're going to see that it's just a little route underneath here. It's nothing crazy, but okay, underneath route. But watch how Purdy gives it to Jennings, who does the rest of the work himself. I mean, able to find a way to get into the end zone. It's going to be good either way, but to get into the end zone. Incredible stuff to take the lead. Just the three-point lead, though, as they were not able to, uh, you know, ultimately convert on the uh, extra point, blocked extra point. But still, a huge sequence to take the lead in that spot. 
So then Purdy and the Niners, they get this great drive. They get to this spot. It's third and four. And I'm going to highlight one Kansas City Chiefs player in particular. This is Trent McDuffie. And, you know, a uh, great player. He's going to be a guy who's going to be unblocked on this play. It's an all-out blitz. So they're going to have one-on-one -on -one matchups. Uh, and they're just, you know, hoping that they can get someone to, uh, you know, uh, get through untouched. Purdy has to get rid of the football immediately. He's looking Jennings' way, which, like, fair, given the way this game is going. Although, uh, Ayuk was more open. But again, got to make your snap. Uh, got to make your decision pre-snap. As you see, uh, Purdy does look over. He, you know, fires it and it's batted away, not able to get it. You know, good play call by Spagnolo to make it work. And great execution by the Kansas City Chiefs. So, still a lot of great stuff. A big field goal by Jake Moody. Because if he missed that, game was basically over. They would have lost, probably. Uh, again, who knows what happens. But they probably lose in that situation. Uh, and that's what allowed them to get to overtime. But that, you know, that drive in overtime first. So, okay, it's third and two. And, you know, the Chiefs are kind of smartly, I think, saying, well, let's just do this again. Let's go with an all-out blitz. It worked out well last time. Why wouldn't it work out well this time? As you see, uh, Purdy is going to, on this one, looks over, sees Brandon Ayuk on this play. And he doesn't know if he's going to be open. And again, if you don't convert here, you're probably punting the ball back to Kansas City. Maybe you go for it, actually, uh, given the circumstance, but you're probably punting the ball in this spot. The Chiefs would just need a field goal to win. That's not a situation you want to put yourself in. So Purdy is going to just, you know, just hope that Ayuk gets open at this point. But that's going to be what happens. Purdy gets the ball over to Brandon Ayuk, who is able to, you know, do a good job of finding finding a way to um, you know, make the play work and pick up the first down on that one. But now let's go over to this play. And this play is why Purdy works so well in the Shanahan scheme, right? Because we all talk about the game manager side of things. But what doesn't get talked about is that he's actually sometimes at his best when he is outside the pocket and doing stuff that way. You know, his uh, a lot of his numbers when plays break down are actually among the best in football. And this play, second down and 12, which like, listen... You know, they ended up getting a field goal anyway, but you don't want to kick a long field goal, especially one if you miss it. Like I said, all the Chiefs would need is a field goal of their own to win. But when Purdy takes the snap, he doesn't love what he sees. And this is the situation where if it's Jimmy Garoppolo, what do you do? Uh, it is worth mentioning, look at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Kyle Juszczyk is calling for the ball now. He wants the football. He's going towards the top of the screen. However, Purdy keeps running. He makes a nice move on the edge rusher and finally hits, uh, you know, uh, Juszczyk, who makes a great catch. Uh, you know, they showed the replay. Uh, listen, when it was Des Bryant, it wasn't ruled a catch. But in this situation, the rules have changed. This, uh, you know, is a catch as he, the football move was him turning to try and extend the football out. So gets the catch, picks up the first down on that play, which gave, made it an easier field goal. But then this play, I mean, this is this is one that's going to keep you up at night, right? I mean, for me personally, if I am a 49ers fan, it's the, uh, you know, the, the tipped pass, which again, another tipped pass uh, with the 49ers and Chiefs uh, that allowed the Chiefs to get another chance to tie the game and send it to overtime. But this is another one. I mean, third down and four, you look at Jawan Jennings here. Look at how when uh, Purdy runs a play action, you see that right here, there is a pressure. I mean, this is Chris Jones, right, uh, being able to come through and actually was unblocked at the line. So I'm not sure. I mean, you can't screw that up, quite frankly, for the uh, 49ers. That's a, a massive blunder. But again, I mean, you played, uh, you know, over a game of football at this point. You have to be tired. These mistakes are going to start to happen. Uh, and that's not the only mistake that's going to happen on this play. So it looks like Purdy is expecting Jennings to run further deep. But look at how Jennings just runs straight down towards the bottom of the screen. Purdy throws it deep. You know, I don't know what happened there. Maybe Purdy just threw the ball away, which I think would be a mistake if he just threw it away. And clearly, in hindsight, would be a mistake. But, you know, uh, not able to get it done there. And that's definitely going to sting. Listen, it's, uh, you know, it was a tough loss. And Mahomes has delivered a ton of tough losses and now has come back from down double digits against the 49ers in the Super Bowl twice, which, uh, I mean, you know, if you're a 49ers fan, you have to just absolutely hate Mahomes' guts. And it wasn't all him, plenty of other players. But, like, still, I mean, that's just, that's got to be incredibly frustrating and was really, I mean, it was a heartbreaking loss. It, it just was if you're a 49ers fan. Uh, my, you know, if you're a 49ers fan and you're watching this video, like, I don't know what you're doing because I would be under a rock somewhere if, uh, you know, it was my team. However, it was an incredible game. It was an incredible fight. It was an incredible team, but wasn't good enough to beat the best player in football. Uh, so, yeah, those are my thoughts on all of this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.